Um, hello, um, we're doing compound interest now. It's Miss Hall. Miss Nelson. And um, compound interest. Compound interest, the um, definition of it, is interest that is computed on the latest balance. And that is including any previously earned interest that has been added to the original, original balance. So um, interest. Yes, this is what sets compound interest apart from simple interest is that it is always done on the latest balance. Okay, so you will see how this changes in just a minute when we start solving this. And a lot of students get really confused by compound interest. They understand simple interest, but compound interest um, trips them up. Um, but the one thing you need to remember about that is it really is just simple interest over and over, and over, again. And over again. Okay, so. We have a principal of $2,000, an interest rate of um, 3%. I'm just going to go ahead and write 0 .03 there, and four years. So we want to know what our total um, interest was that we earned. This and is a simple interest. For simple interest. We're comparing the difference. So interest, remember, I equals PRT. So here we're, we have 2,000 times 0 .03 times 4. So I, I multiply first my 4 times um, 2,000 because I can do that in my head. Okay, and now I'm going to come over here One, two, three, twenty-four, 24 and I know 0 times all of those is zero. So um, put my decimal there. My interest earned is $240. So my total here would be 2240 And this is at 3% for four years with original um, principal of $2,000. But this is simple interest. Now we're going to compare um, if it was compound interest, how that would change. And that is where you add the interest of after each year back to your principal. Okay, so we are starting with the same principal, the same rate, and this um, over time, the same amount of years, which is going to be four years. Okay, so we start the exact same way that we do. We change all of our decimals into a percent. So 3% um, is 3 hundredths, which is 0 0.03. And I start the exact same way. I'm going to multiply, or Ms. Hall's going to multiply, 2,000 times 0 0.03. And that gives her interest earned of $60. Now, the difference here with compound is every single time you have to figure out the new total. So I add 2,000 to my $60 and get $2,060. Now, we take that total, and that becomes our beginning number down on the next line. So our new principal is $2,060. And we start our process over again. So I don't know why I put a comment in there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That shouldn't be there. Go ahead. So <laughs> she's going to multiply 2,060 times our 3 hundredths, or 0 .03. And again, you notice our years, it's one year every single time. So you're really just multiplying two numbers each time. And when she multiplies 2,060 times 0 .03, she gets $61.80. So we add that back to our 2,060. Make sure you line up those decimals. And you'll get $2,121.80. We carry that number all the way down to the first of our next line. Multiply that times 0 0.03. Now, something you need to watch out for, be very careful. The further into decimals we get, you're going to have decimals past your hundredths place that we count money to. So you have to use your rounding rule. 
we look at that 4, that 4 will not round that 5 up, so we just drop it off and it goes away. So your interest is $63.65. For a total of $2,185.45. So we take that, that becomes the first line. We multiply that by 0 .03. And you guys heard the bell ring, so I'm just going to tell you what that equals. Again, rounding decimals. Your interest is $65.56. So when we add that back to our total, we get $2,251.01. So to figure out the total interest, because our next question says which interest has more, you take your total and you subtract your original and you get $251.01. So if you were comparing what you got more, earned more money on, um, you, for simple it was uh, $240 and for compound it was $251.01. So obviously the compound interest is where you earned the most interest. So we want you guys to try the last problem on this page and be ready to come back Wednesday or Thursday with your answer. Great. Bye. Bye.